JG Ranch out here just uh, sitting here staring out the window looking at the animals. Just checking everybody out. Watching those sheep eat that eat the last of that alfalfa right there. And they're eating it like like they ain't never had it and they ain't never gonna see it again. It's uh crazy how sheep eat. They just s grab and swallow the stuff real quick. They got two stomachs. So they'll just eat and swallow swallow real quick and then go back and sit down and chew it up chew it up later they'll throw it up in their mouth and then they'll re-chew it and then swallow it to their other stomach pretty pretty interesting but they developed that strategy for uh eating out grazing and there's other predators around so they could just fill up real quick then uh, chew it later while they're sitting down with downtime. That boy Prince out there keeping everything, keeping watch. I got the rabbits <coughs> over in there with the with the sheep and I got the goats in there as well. They're all in there together. Just watching everybody. I'm seeing how they're all getting along. Haven't seen the baby in a minute. Must be somewhere laying down to sleep somewhere could be laying down inside of that little blue bin which it uh it does that but this was a beautiful day today oh there's the baby sheep it was over there in the corner. <clears throat> Let's get a zoom in on the action here. There we are. Little baby sheep is doing well. It's good to see. Little baby goat right there, the brown one, the female. And that's the other baby goat, the white one, reaching up, grabbing some food up there. He's growing his horns out, which is nice to finally see him reach that maturity. Rabbits running around. Those one of the chickens. There's a female dog walking the perimeter. There's Prince coming in. So it's... <clears throat> I think we got like a couple more freezing nights here. But we are warming up for the most part. 
So I'm going to end up shearing that sheep, getting that wool off of her. Still have to build a milking stand for the sheep. Coco! Mom is doing good, being protective of the baby. She's being a good mom. Good girl, Coco. Good girl. At least the dogs are listening. They're pretty good helpers around here. Get back. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, so uh, the small little baby rabbits can fit through the, through the little fence. But the dogs keep so much pressure on them that, you know, you're better off being inside the fence. And that's what I'm trying to install in the rabbits. Like, even though you can get out, you know, unless you want to get ran around the property, <laughs> you know, um, you're better off. Staying inside the fence. That's your most safest place to be. You're going to get food, water, you know, shelter. So, they got out this morning. Me and the dogs put the pressure on them, man. You know, and caught both of them. Tossed them back in. And they haven't been, been back out yet since. So... It's all a learning process for the rabbits and everything. And uh, this male white rabbit right here. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. This little white rabbit right here. The the goats uh, knocked the, open the gate. I mean, the goats were out when I went outside. And this guy... He's like, man, I ain't going out there. Them dogs are crazy. Because <laughs> he sees, he watches those other little rabbits get chased around by the dogs. And he he sees how much pressure the dogs put on them. He's like, man, please. I ain't going out there. So... Dogs are doing good, and then when they when they get the rabbit, they don't bite the rabbit and try to kill it. They'll just paw it down and try to pin it down for me, you know. And uh, I love it. Dogs are dogs are doing exactly what I tell them to do. I give them a nice little treat. I tell them how good they are for making the capture without harming the animal. Because they see that, you know, I pick the animal up and take him, put him where it's supposed to be, you know, so. Doing all right here on the ranch. I can't wait till I have some more puppies. I can't wait for my boy to have some puppies. And I got all my puppies running around, you know. Making sure everything is safe and secure and all these things, man. So, just uh, looking forward to the future of the ranch. Just uh, continuing to try to build and expand to leave something great for my kids. So they will be proud and honored that their father put in such work to so that they can have an abundance later on. Let's back this back out. We got the mom and the baby over here in the corner here.
baby's just over there chilling. <clears throat> She's about to mosey on back this way. One of my little hens right there coming in the frame. Baby sheep is doing good, looking good, moving good, born here on JG Ranch, that's cool man, first animal born on the ranch. Every other animal was bought and purchased here. But the baby sheep, this is all it's ever known. So I talked to my little daughter, my second oldest, and she was thinking about naming it something like Carol. Carol. Carol the baby sheep. So, that just may be her name. Carol the baby sheep. First animal born here on JG Ranch. <laughs> nice. Stretch your stuff, little turkey. I mean, little chicken. Mom said, I'm going to sit down right here. Now that she's swallowed all of that food, she's going to sit there and start to rechew all of that food that she just ate. She's going to bring it out of one stomach and start chewing on it in the mouth. See if I can get a shot of her rechewing some of that food. And there, look at that. Look, her with the little baby. Little baby just climbing on top of mom's. She's just being a good, patient mama. That little baby climbing all over me. Baby's working on her muscles, developing her muscles, stuff, so she'll be able to follow mom wherever she needs to go. And she was born in the snow, like it was snowing overnight, the night that she was born. And I woke up to the baby already be already born walking around and it was snowing and stuff I was like yes yeah mama made it and the baby was up walking around put a smile on my face for sure
so this is my view outside, outside my window. I get to just chill and uh, make sure everybody's okay. Keep an eye on them if I hear a noise or something. Always at the ready. I need to remove that plastic off of the structure right here. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Yeah. But everything looks good, everything's okay. Here on the ranch. Uh, JG. Yeah, I'm out.